Hey what's up guys welcome back to a new video on the channel so today we're gonna check out the new editor x that Wix just announced a few months ago and finally I got the beta access what editor x really is is that editor x is gonna be the new editor for Wix once it is tested once it is proven to work and once it is actually finalized currently it's still in beta testing and what Wix is really trying to do is make their editor a lot better uh, when it comes to responsive website design. So something that people always have noticed about Wix websites is that Wix websites are not very responsive. So if you go and take a look at your own Wix website, or your client's Wix website, or whoever you know that have a Wix website. And if you try to resize the website in your browser, what you will notice is that the website itself will not resize according to the browser that you're using. So if you resize the window, the website itself will not resize with the browser itself. So the reason why this is an issue is that a lot of people are using different devices, people are using different resolutions, and people are expecting your website to work no matter what resolution they're working with, no matter what device they're on, people are expecting your website to work fluently. So this is definitely gonna be a new and exciting thing for all VIX users. And if you are not a VIX user yet, I definitely suggest you to become a VIX user if you don't know how to develop your own website. And if you don't wanna handle all the issues that come with working with a tool like WordPress. So what we're gonna do today is walk through the new Editor X, what's new, how does it work, and what can you expect from using the tool. So let's get right into it. So this is the new landing page that you will be presented by if you have gotten the Editor X beta access. And if you haven't gotten the beta access yet, you can still apply for it and you might get accepted. I think it depends on if you have a lot of websites in the past, also, if you have a premium plan, that is definitely gonna help you getting approved. Uh, if you just signed up for VIX, it might be hard to get the beta access. But what you can do is send an email to the support and ask for beta access if you just created a VIX account and want to check out the beta access. So as you can see, Wix usually have pretty good looking templates. And for Editor X, there's gonna be new templates because this is made on the new editor which is not at all like the old editor so let's just look through what we got right here it seems like they're trying to go for a more modern and uh, modern style compared to their old templates i like this one looks very modern uh, and if you uh, they don't have a lot of options uh, options yet but as you can see on the bottom it says stay tuned for more uh, curated templates which means you are gonna work on creating more templates, which I think is useful. And, and especially if you are not the very creative person and if you don't wanna sit there and design your whole website from scratch, uh, templates are definitely super useful. So if you wanna start your own construction company currently, uh, what Wix have is multiple templates, templates just for that specific niche. And that is gonna enable you to just import that specific template and then you can just go ahead and edit whatever text and images you want and make the website your own. So that's something that I really like about VIX. So if we look right now, there's not a lot of options uh, and a lot of people are not gonna run a shoe company or a magazine. Uh, so these are very niche. But what I'm thinking that VIX is doing with this is that they just wanna showcase the best of the best uh, so people get more excited about the tool. Uh, eventually they'll have those more niche uh, templates, but it's probably gonna take a lot of time. So what I would recommend you to do, if you're not in one of these very niche uh, categories, I would just suggest you to start with a totally blank uh, website and build it from scratch. Otherwise, just go ahead and use the VIX, uh, the old VIX editor, it still works, it's still very good, uh, but it does have its bad size as well. So we're just gonna go ahead and check out this one. I think this one looks good, so let's view it real quick. Um, okay, oh, looks good. I've never seen animation like that on a VIX website. Uh, this looks odd to me. Yeah, I'm not the person who designed this website, so I'm, I'm not quite sure what they're trying to do with this little animation on the side. The shoe itself, it looks very good. 
Yeah, it looks like it is. Is it a GIF or what's going on here? Okay, it looks like it's not gonna be a GIF, which is good. It's definitely coded. Yeah, I can't find it right now, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna look through uh, the code to find uh, exactly what they've done. Oh, it's actually a video. Okay, it's a video, uh, which doesn't really look that bad. Uh, I thought it was gonna be animated, uh, but even this, it looks good to, for being a Wix website. If I saw this website right now, I would not think at all that this was a Wix website. Uh, so let's just continue exploring. So explore. Yeah, everything looks pretty good. Um, Yeah, I'm super surprised. So what used to be an issue, especially with a Wix website, is if you used to place stuff on the side right here, what would happen if someone visited your website on a laptop is that this part itself would not be shown on the website because the line would be around here uh, on what's actually viewable uh, in the window. So what I can show you guys instead of showing you my desktop i'm going to do it like this so if i resize this window all of the content on the actual page is going to resize according to the size of my browser uh, and this was not possible previously what you could do previously is only edit the mobile uh, view and also edit the desktop view so you were very limited when it comes to responsiveness. So this is definitely a big improvement uh, on the responsive side of things. Uh, and this was also a huge issue, especially when I worked on Wix myself. Uh, I remember that I always wanted to do something uh, design-wise on the side, but it was never possible uh, without doing extra code in the actual template. So this is gonna be a huge improvement if you are uh, looking to put stuff on the side of your website. And the speed itself seems to be very good. Nothing is really taking that long to load. It might be because the website, uh, because it's just a template, but we'll see. Okay, so we're gonna start with this template, just edit the template and see what's going on. Okay, so this is gonna be the new editor, the Editor X, as you can see right here is beta. So all of this is still going to be beta access. Make sure you apply for it. So as you can see right here, it's definitely very different compared to what the normal VIX editor looks like. So what I've done right now is right here, you have the plus. Uh, here you have all your elements still. I think they have removed some elements. I'm not quite sure, uh, but everything is still here. You still have access to most of the things you had in the past. So you're not gonna look, you're not gonna miss anything. Uh, next, we're gonna have layers, and layers was kind of hard to find before. So I think they made it a lot clearer on where you can find the layers of your website. And if you never worked with layers before, layers are just content on this specific page. So you can see there is a container right here. You can open it up, and there's gonna be a basic shape. And uh, you have another section here. You got menu. Uh, menu icon, menu, PVR. So PVR is gonna be the text right here. Uh, and this is just a great way of finding all the elements on your website, especially if something is hiding behind something. Sometimes you're editing and all of a sudden you lose the text and it's just behind another element. Next, you're gonna have masters. Masters, so what I've done is change how you edit your header and your footer. So you click right here to edit your uh, edit your header and the same thing with your footer and then you can just go ahead and edit like you would normally do so hello one two three and that's gonna be our new footer right there then you have pages pages as normal uh, you have your home page then you can add a new page and the new page is gonna go right here it's gonna follow the same, same template and what we're gonna do right here is call that one YouTube and before we go ahead, I'm just gonna check on the app market. I haven't checked it out yet. Even the app market seems to be loading a lot faster. What I've experienced in the past is that usually when I open the app market, uh, it's usually super slow to load up. And the editor itself in Wix is usually uh, very slow as well. Uh, so what I've experienced while testing the editor X 
is that it's definitely a lot faster, uh, which makes it just a lot easier to edit your website. Another new function you can see right here is drag to resize. So what this is gonna do is resize your browser window, just like a visitor on your website would be able to do. So if you resize, you can see how your website is gonna look in all the different uh, resolutions. And you can also write here on the top, so this is gonna be for desktop, this is gonna be for iPad or smart tablet, whatever it is. Uh, and this is gonna be the standard layout for a smartphone. Uh, and this is just gonna be the easiest way to edit all the different elements on the different resolutions. Yeah, but you can also go ahead and resize your window in live preview just to see how everything is gonna look directly on your website. So let's go ahead and go to our YouTube section and we are gonna start adding something to this section right here. So as you can see, this is called a section. If you click on it, you can change the design or apply a grid. You can do your animations as usual, change your design uh, and also move up, move down, apply a grid, flip vertical, duplicate, don't display or delete. What we're gonna do is apply a grid to this one we're gonna do three different sections. Uh, three different sections are gonna be right here. Uh, and let's add something. So we're gonna add a, a mm, button right here. Uh, this is not gonna be very pretty, but we're doing this just for a test. We're gonna add a image in this box right here. We're gonna make sure it's within the grid like that. What you're now able to do, which you wouldn't be able to do before, is you can stretch this, stretch the image itself uh, to the actual section. So the image now is going to resize depending on the size of the window itself and stay within this uh, box. Uh, you can also do a focal point. So the image itself is going to follow a specific point. You can also change the effect on this one. And you can do a scroll behavior, which is parallax or reveal. I think reveal looks pretty good. So what we're going to do is resize this window. I think we're going to have to go to the preview. And in preview, you can see that it, the image itself is going to scroll with uh, the user itself. Back to edit, we're going to go back to our desktop editing. You can do the same thing with your start now button right here. You can resize it depending on how you want it, how you want it to look. Then you go down towards this. You can resize it and have it another size like that. And then when you go back, it's going to be big again. And then it's going to be smaller. And then when you do it like this, you can also see that the button itself is resizing depending on the browser size. And this is super useful. As you'll probably notice, everything is very quick. And if you compare it with the old editor, it's so much better. Uh, everything is so, just so much more fluent, uh, which is gonna be great, especially for your workflow. So let's say we want to add another section to our website. We're just gonna click right here then we have our plus sign and you're just gonna add another grid and just like before you can change the section size but just resizing it like this very simple you can do the same thing for the different resolutions to make either the section smaller or larger depending on how you like it in that specific resolution same thing here you can apply a grid you can change it to whatever you like to or you can go ahead and add some of the new templates uh, that VIX has provided. So you have your welcome, about services, feature products, just as before. Uh, but these are gonna be edited uh, according to what the new editor is using. So let's go to pricing and let's say we want this one right here. So just drag and drop it. And then uh, right here, we are gonna have our pricing plan. And then if we resize this, what's gonna happen? The plan itself is gonna resize. So this was such a struggle for me when I used to use Wix uh, until I moved myself towards WordPress uh, is that you want to be able to use this real estate right here. Before, if you visited a Wix website, this was just all empty space, all empty space, and it, all the content had to be in the middle except if you had a huge section with an image, 
but if you ever put text right here it wouldn't actually scale with the resolution so this is something that i'm pushing super hard but this is what i really loved about this new editor from vix i still haven't gotten into the knitting gritty with all the new features but that is definitely going to be an upcoming video and these are of course just a few of the new features that the new vix editor is offering uh, so let's just show you real quick some of the features that VIX is mentioning. So you are going to be able to change your own breakpoints uh, so you can get a full control on how you want your website to look in the specific resolutions. You're also going to be have a more fluid design. It's going to be a lot quicker, a lot easier to edit your website. Uh, the freedom of CSS grid layouts, uh, which is also going to help a lot with the responsive design. And all of these features are basically just pushing the more responsive design. A lot of people uh, that are website developers or are actually working with website design uh, often mention that they do not like the Vic, uh, Vix editor, they don't like Wix websites. And most of the complaints that people have is the, with the responsiveness of Wix websites. So this is something definitely that Wix have taken uh, into account when working on this new editor. Some more of the features are flexible canvas. Uh, you're gonna have your stack, layouter, repeating layouts, CSS grid, uh, fixed fluid scale, docking, uh, units of measure, custom breakpoint, style per breakpoint, uh, waveport height, focal point, uh, which is new, which I showed you in the in the image itself, so you can pick a specific focal point and then the image is gonna uh, focus on that specific point of the image and that is gonna make it a lot easier when you resize the website in a different device that the image is still showing the most important part of the image itself. So if you have a product, a product image, you want the product to be in the highlight uh, of the image itself no matter how you scale the actual image. So pin to screen. Overflow, anchors, animations, photo studio, scroll effect, custom menus, video collections, font uploads, design system galleries. So there's a lot of new features in the new VIX editor. And I think VIX is gonna continue to make this editor a lot better. As if you watched my videos before, you know that I like Elementor for WordPress and Elementor for WordPress is definitely a very good website editor. So I think that Wix has realized that there's a lot of new competitors in this specific area. So Wix is trying to make sure that they are staying on top of their website editor. But that is gonna be for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you want more videos on the new Wix editor, please leave a comment or a question about the new features and I can make a video on that. If you have any other questions about Wix SEO, Wix website design, just leave it in the comments and I'll make sure to either make a video on it or answer your questions right in the comments. If you wanna try out the new Wix editor, make sure you use the link down in the description. Uh, it's gonna be an affiliate link, so when you sign up for Wix, I am gonna get some kickback on that as well, which helps me produce these videos for you. But that is gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy and I'll see you next time.